Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy. Episode 40, Automated X-Pages Testing. If we can automate testing of applications, do we really need users anymore? Okay, before we get into the show, just another quick little blurb on Lotusphere as the, the drive to Lotusphere continues. Um, if you're not going to Lotusphere, um, you can kind of keep your uh, feel of the action of what's going on by going over to planetlotus.org which is where uh, most of the blog posts and bloggers will, will be publishing to because it's, a, it's an aggregator uh, from their personal blogs and such. Uh, if you're pretty much X pages focused, um, xpages.info will basically have a subset of the, the Planet Lotus postings um, uh, on that site, so you can kind of filter out some of the other stuff there if, if you want. Um, and, of course, on Twitter, we're using the hashtag... LS12 uh, for Lotusphere 12. If you, if you are going to Lotusphere um, and you get there on Saturday, then don't miss Bald, which is um, bloggers and their friends kind of thing, but anyone's invited. Um, so that starts around late afternoon or so, mid afternoon, at the, like, I think it's called the Big River Brewery on, the, um, on that boardwalk area. And then after that, you uh, can go to the ESPN, and a lot of us go there to hang out at the ESPN Sports Bar. It is important to try and have cash with you, because if you're at a table with, with multiple people, um, and, and it's time, it comes time from the bill, rather than having the server run four credit cards, if you can just pay in cash, that uh, really helps uh, the process. Uh, also, I think it's on Tuesday night, but don't quote me on that, at Lois is Speed Geeking. Um, now, I'm not doing Speed Geeking this year. I'm taking a break from that, but it's it's a great event. There's like 12 tables, a five-minute presentation that the, the presenter does 12 times in a row, basically, and you go from table to table to table, and it's it's a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of loud, and, and, and you can learn a lot in, in a short amount of time. So I highly recommend you you checking that out. Uh, last year, was it was not far from, from where you ate um, in that, that hall area or so. I assume it's the same place, but but I don't know. Um, and also, of course, we will have cheat sheets there, the original cheat sheet and the new X-Pages social tools cheat sheet. So if, you, if you're interested, uh, pick pick one of the two of those up. Okay, now into the show. Um, John Jardine comes on again, and, and, and I, I can't thank him enough for, for some of the great information he's providing uh, for Notes 9 and, and to the community. And he's with Ukuvuma. Again, I... Uh, who knows if I said that right? And and he's just a great developer. And he's going to come on today and talk about ways to basically build and record testing for X pages that you can play back later. So with that, we'll go on to the demo. Hi there, and welcome to this video. My name is John Jardine from Ukavuma Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to automate testing in your X pages using Selenium. So Selenium is a web-based testing automation tool and it's got a broad range of capabilities um, and it also accommodates more than one programming language but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to be uh, using the Selenium IDE plugin which does playback and recording of uh, interactions with the browser. Okay, My apologies, recording and playback of interactions with the browser. Alright, so to install this plugin, uh, launch Firefox and go to a website called seleniumhq.org. Once you're there, click on the download tab and you can click on this link over here. So you want to download Selenium IDE uh, version 1.5.0. This will install the plugin in Firefox and once you have that plugin installed, you can launch the, the plugin by going to your file menu, going to your uh, tools uh, menu option and clicking on Selenium IDE, you'll get something like this. Okay, so that's your that's your control panel for Selenium. All right, so from here now, what I'm going to do is I, I need an XPages application to test, and I'm actually going to use my online showcase. So I'm just going to type this in showcase xsp.okavuma.co.za. And once that loads, you'll have to log in. Uh, you can just use the username guest and the password guest. All right, and that will take you to our Showcases homepage. So this gives me everything I need to actually perform some testing over here. So to start my test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Record button. So now that's recording. And this will now go and see everything that I do inside this XPages environment. 
So on top here, you can see I have an active bar custom control from openetf.org. It's a jQuery control. And I'm going to go and click on this X and that will close it. So that's probably my first action according to Selenium. Then I'm going to go to the project manager report uh, X page. Once that loads, I'm going to go choose all projects and say select the projects. I'm going to click on this, which will load a picklist controller, choose an option, click on finish, run the project. There we go. It's got a dojo tree grid here at the bottom. I'm then going to go to the timesheet dashboard. I'm going to go and choose my name, John, select a project. Um, click on submit. It's going to validate. I can go click on this dojo accordion, put some values inside here. Click on submit. It's going to add it here to the right hand side. I'm going to choose the edit option, change 10 to 150. Click on OK. Go to the second page of this pager. There we go. And I'm going to end it off by going back to our home page. All right. So I can go here now and I can go and click on stop. And you'll see on the right hand side, it's gone and recorded all the actions that I performed on my X pages environment. Okay. So everything got recorded here on the right hand side. So here's the best part. It's as simple as clicking on playback to go and run these, uh, run and automate this test that I just did. Uh, but before I do that, I'd just like to make mention of this. You'll see over here, we have a speed controller and this will determine how fast uh, Selenium performs the actions that you did. Now, if you're working on a local server and you're running a very, very nice computer, you can, you can get away with running it at super speed and that will just go and perform all your test cases uh, with probably no error. But I'm currently working remotely, so I don't have that luxury. I'll definitely need to slow down the actions and I'll put it over there. That should be sufficient enough. And now I'm going to go and click on play test case. So I'm going to click on that. And what it will do is it will first reload the browser's URL and then it will go and perform all the operations that I did. So you can see that it's already doing everything. In the timesheet, there we go. Add some values. It's going to add it to the page on the right hand side. There we go. Click on the edit link. Ah, hit a snack. Okay, so what happened over there is it took longer than expected to update the repeat control on the right hand side. So it seems that while I'm working remotely, uh, it, it, it was still running a bit too fast uh, to, to achieve everything in the right amount of time. So I'm going to go clear this log here. I'm going to go and slow it down just a little bit more. And I'm going to go and say play again. So it will reload the browser and it will go and close the active bar, go to the project manager page, do everything over again. This tool actually works very well. It's really saved me in a lot of test cases that I had to, that I had to perform online. So there, it achieved that. Went to the page and go back to the home page and we are done. If I go over here, there were no errors. It performed everything 100%. Okay, so that's that's perfect. That's exactly what you need. Now, um, on the right hand side, yeah, all these actions that occurred, it's I, um, it's important to note that you can add your own commands. Um, so you can go and insert a command and tell it you want to do certain certain things. I'm not even going to pretend to know what most of the stuff does. I just use this to test um, the actions that I perform. But what, what is nice is you can go and in certain sections, you're actually populating values into fields or dialogue lists. So what you can do is you can actually go and modify these values right over here so that you can experience possibly um, how it will interact with different results. Okay, so like there, for example, instead of just typing in John, I can say John Jardine. And then in my next test, it will go and add that instead of what I added initially. All right, so that's the one thing. Then you, know, you can save these test cases. So uh, what I can do over here is I can go under this untitled, right click, go to properties and call it showcase. There we go. And when I click on OK, it will now say showcase. That, is, that star over there means it hasn't been saved. So I'm going to go and say save test case. I'm going to put it locally on my And that's that. So if I close this and open up Selenium again, you'll see that it, it starts from scratch, but I can go and open up my showcase and there's all my actions. All right. So the last thing to make mention over here is that you can group test cases into what they call test suites. And what's nice about this is while you can perform 
uh, individual test cases, you can also like perform an entire suite of test cases, uh, one after the other, which I think is flipping excellent. Um, that that's really going to come in handy with a lot of the projects that we plan on doing. So, um, I hope this was uh, valuable to everyone. Um, it's it's definitely made a difference in my uh, XPages uh, development. And uh, yeah, if you have any queries or questions or anything, you can contact me um, either um, via Twitter uh, at John underscore Ukavuma. Please note there's an underscore over there. Or you can uh, follow me on my blog, which it's johnjardine.ukavuma.co.za. Or you can uh, also go to our website, um, ukavuma.co.za, and under the contact details, you'll, you'll get all my email uh, and contact information. So thank you very much for watching this video, and until next time, um, happy coding as always. Bye-bye. And that's the demo. Thanks again, John. I really appreciate it. And if anyone has any questions for me, uh, here's my information. Thank you for your time.